my name is Sophia and this is yoga for core power. So we're going to start lying down today. I'm going to bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide, and just take a few breaths to arrive. Having a sense of slowing down so you can really be fully present. Setting an intention for your practice and breathing that intention through your body. And then from here, bringing the knees together. We're gonna do a few roll-ups. So you're gonna exhale, curl up through the pelvis, lift up through your pelvic floor muscles and through your lower abdominal muscles. And just hold that for a few breaths. Lifting, strengthening as deeply as you can, really challenge that edge. And with your next inhale, breathe all the way down into the pelvis and let that go. Two more of these activating Mula Bandha, pelvic floor muscles, Uddiyanda Bandha, lower abdominal area, drawing that strength up the spine. And with your next inhale, breathing into the pelvis, let that go. One more time, drawing up, sealing up the energy. It's said that when we engage Uddiyanda Bandha, Mula Bandha, we seal these energy locks and it allows us to contain and build our prana. And again, inhaling into the pelvis, let that go. Awesome, this time let's use the same action but roll all the way up into bridge, drawing that strength up the spine Walk the shoulder blades closer together, interlace the fingers, press the hands into the mat, lift open through the chest, and then inhale, float the heels off the floor. Exhale, bring the heels down and just soften slightly. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, heels down. Two more. And then release the hands, roll down through the back. Stack the right leg over the left. And if it's available, you're gonna wrap your right foot all the way round. We're taking floor eagle, arms up to the sky. Take the left arm over the right, or wrap the hands round towards prayer. And over your next exhale, elbows and knees draw towards each other. And inhale, lengthen them away. We're gonna do five more exhale drawing in. Inhale, reach away. The further you reach away, the more intense it will be. Two more. Exhale. Activating that strength. Awesome. And then release the arms out to the side. You can uncross the legs and just bring them side by side if you like. We're going to bring the knees over to the left, head rolls to the right. Nice juicy twist through the spine. With every exhale, see if you can twist and surrender a little bit deeper into that stretch, grounding both shoulders into the floor if possible. And then come back to the center. Arms and legs high, just give yourself a good shake out. One of the best things to do to warm up the body. And we're gonna switch over. So left foot, over the right, crossing high up in the thighs. If you can wrap the feet around, that's great. Arms up to the sky, and then right arm underneath the left, wrapping the hands towards prayer. Exhale, elbows and knees in. Inhale, reach away. Five more. Notice how much you're showing up for your practice. Are you really committing to this moment, or is your mind wandering elsewhere? See if you can challenge your edge. And finishing up, release the arms. You can uncross the legs and bring them side by side if you prefer. And then take the knees over to the right, head rolls to the left this time. And again, take a few surrendering, gorgeous breaths. Allow a sense of pleasure through the breath. So you're connecting 
the intention of feeling good throughout your practice, even if some parts are challenging. Coming back to center, and again, shake it out. We're gonna do a few bicycles here, so bring the shins parallel to the mat, fingers interlaced behind the back of the head, and then opposite elbow to knee. The higher you bring your shoulder blades away from the floor, and the further you extend your legs out, the more intense it is. So what's gonna be a good challenge for you today? Doing three more sets. Awesome, and then just relax down. We're gonna stack the right foot on top of the left thigh. You can stay here if this already feels like a stretch, otherwise the hands are gonna interlace behind the back of the left hamstring or on top of the left shin. Try and relax the shoulders and the head into the mat and slowly begin to draw the legs towards the chest. Relaxing the face, especially the jaw. If we're holding tension in the jaw, we also tend to hold tension in our hips. So when we relax the face, soften the jaw, it gives that signal to the rest of the body to reflect that surrendering. Again, legs up to the sky. Hands come slightly underneath the pelvis, palms down. And you're gonna take a few breaths to lower the legs towards the floor. Notice areas that your body may want to rush through. See if you can slow down. And once you are all the way down, step the feet back in. Second side stacking your left foot on top of your right thigh. And then again, hands can grip around the right hamstring or on top of the shin. Relaxing the shoulders. Relaxing the face. Returning to the breath. Letting that release, both legs up to the sky. This time we're going to do a few scissors. So bring the left leg to hover above the mat and then switch over. So again, if you want less intensity, you can bend the knees and just keep switching at your own pace. Three more sets. Awesome, bringing the knees into the chest, give yourself a big hug. And we're gonna start rocking and rolling, forwards and back. Warming up the spine. So if you want, you can use this momentum to cross the leg and walk forwards, shift the weight forwards, and hop out into plank. Otherwise, you can just make your own way into plank, finding a nice healthy line through the body lifting up through the pelvic floor muscles and I'm going to do a bit of marching continuing to fire up that core and when we do core at the beginning of our practice it can really help for us to stay connected to the core throughout letting that release chaturanga down to the floor let's bring the hands down by the side bend the knees and rock the heels side to side Release the breath through the pelvis. See how deeply you can be held by the floor. This is a great action for taking tension out of the hips. It also could be soothing for the digestive system. Relaxing down and moving up into a sphinx pose. Spread the palms wide into the mat. Let's squeeze the legs together, press the pelvis into the floor, lift up through the pelvic floor muscles, lift up through the core, and open the heart. Taking a nice inhale, visualizing receiving the breath through the back of the heart. Then with your exhale, visualize offering your breath through the front of your heart. So this guided visualization is good for taking out repressed emotions from the heart, if you had an emotional day, this can be a really nice visualization just to help clear space so you feel like your heart can be vibrant and open. 
Inhaling through the back of the heart, exhaling through the front. And then just relax down. Pull up onto the hands and knees. From here, we're going to take the left hand and the right knee. You're going to bring the left elbow and knee towards each other. And then reach away. Exhale, drawing in. And reach away. Let's do two more. And this time, keep reaching away. You can stay here for an extra challenge. You can bend the right leg, reach the left hand back, see if you can clasp the, around the ankle. And if you can make that, you can kick back through the right leg to lift the chest open. Awesome. Relax that down and slowly make your way into downward dog. Reach the left leg to the sky and sweep the left leg forwards into a long lunge palms above you and then we're going to exhale bend the back knee and the elbows inhale reach up three more exhale down inhale up using the breath to empower the movement again bringing the hands to heart center and then twisting towards the left back leg is straight if possible if this feels too intense, you can bring the back knee to the mat. Coming back to center, stepping out into plank and lowering down. You can come into cobra or upward dog. Take a few breaths to open the spine and pull back into downward dog. A few deep exhales here. Try and draw up through the front of the thighs, up into the pelvis to give you a deeper hinge in the hip. Coming back to the hands and knees, second side. So right hand, left knee, bringing the right elbow and the left knee to touch, and then reaching away. Three more. Keep reaching away, and then if you want to bend the left leg, take the right hand towards the left ankle, and then kick back through the left leg to deepen that stretch. Releasing down, making your way into downward dog. Take the right leg up to the sky, reach in all directions, and sweep the left leg forwards. Keep the back heel off the mat, arms to the sky, palms together. Exhale, bend the back knee and the elbows. Inhale, reach up. Three more. Exhale down, inhale up. And once you've come up, bring the hands towards prayer and twist towards your right. Lengthen through both sides of the waist so you can still feel that active core. And come back to center. Lower the hands down, step back into plank, and then shift your weight to your right hand and foot, left hand to the sky, side plank. If this is too intense, you can bring your right knee down. More intensity, lift the left leg up. Try not to dro drop in the hips. Stay lifted, step the left foot behind you, and come into wild thing, open up the chest, and come forwards into plank, straight to the second side, right hand up to the sky, choosing your variation of side plank. Stepping the right foot behind you into wild thing, Lifting open through the chest. Activate the fingertips. And come forwards into plank. Chaturanga down. Upward dog or cobra. Pulling back into downward dog. Taking a few deep breaths here. Come back to your intention. Breathe it through your body. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. 
And exhale, fold forwards. Soften the knees and roll up to standing. Inhale, deep breath in. Visualize drawing energy into your body. Hands heart center. And again, inhale, recharge the body. Make your breath count. One more time. Okay, coming into warrior three, arms up to the sky, interlace the fingers, point your index fingers, long neck, anchor the shoulders down, left leg points back, and then slowly gliding, ideally so that you are parallel with the floor. Try and activate the arms so you can feel the arms hugging the ears. And then bend your right knee, step your left leg further back, come into a lunge. And then we're gonna rotate open into warrior two. Take a few breaths just to feel strong here. Scan through your body, check your alignment. Make sure your right knee isn't collapsing in. And then strengthening the core, we're gonna reach onto the diagonal line. And just bring the hands down to the mat. Stepping into plank, chaturanga, upward dog or cobra, pulling back into downward dog, couple of breaths. Step or hop to the top of your mat, inhale lift up halfway, melting forwards and rolling up to standing. This time inhale, shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, let it all go. Two more. Arms sweep up to the sky. Setting up for a warrior three, second side, right leg points behind you. Get long through the waist. And when you're ready, gliding forwards. Try and keep both hips parallel with the floor. And stepping back into a lunge, rotating open into your warrior two. Reaching forwards onto a diagonal line. And bringing the hands down to the floor, stepping into plank. Chaturanga to the floor. Upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, relaxing forwards. Rolling up to standing. And then stepping sideways on your mat. So let's bring the feet about two foot apart to begin with. Arms up to the sky. Interlacing the fingers, point the index finger, long neck, reaching over towards your left side. And coming back up, reaching over towards your right side. And coming back up. Now we're going to step a little bit wider. Turn the feet out to about a 45 degree angle. Bend the knees and just rest into the arms. We're going to rotate one shoulder in. And then rotate the other shoulder in. Great action for limbering up the spine, creating space between the vertebra. And coming back to center, straighten the legs, coming into Trigonasana. So turn your left foot so it's parallel to the back edge of the mat. Open your right foot to point forwards, arms parallel to the floor, reaching over the right leg. And then bring the arms into a vertical line, looking up if that feels comfortable. And then you're going to bend the right leg, see if you can shift your weight onto the right foot. Once you find your balance, you can float the left leg up. You can stay here. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can bend the left leg, reaching for the ankle and then kicking back, opening through the chest. 
slowly coming back into a lunge. Kind of baby warrior two, straighten the legs, and then second side. So just pivoting on the feet, reach out over the left leg for Trigonasana. Try and keep the chest open, make sure you're not collapsing the chest forwards. And moving into our Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose, shifting your weight onto the left leg. Keep the hips stacked and open. Maybe stay here. If you want to go deeper, bending the right knee. We're reaching for the ankle, kicking back and opening. And then stepping the right leg back into a little lunge. Baby warrior two, come up, bring the feet parallel. Interlace the fingers behind you, lift out of the spine. And then come up and over to your right side. Relax forwards, lift up to the left. We're gonna do two more big circles like this. So the more you reach out of the waist, the more you'll naturally feel the, get the core engaging and supporting you. Coming all the way to center, and then just slowly falling forwards. Release the arms here, and you can bend the knees if that's more comfortable, and then we're going to create a tabletop with the spine. And just take a few breaths here, reaching the sit bones out and away from each other, scooping the pelvis slightly forward so you really feel core support here. And then you use that support to come all the way up to standing. Sweet. So second side, interlace the fingers behind you, lift up tall, reaching over to the left. Relaxing forwards, coming up to the right, doing two more at your own pace. And once you've done that, let's take the hands to the hips, lift tall and again fold forwards. And brush the hands down the back of the legs a few times. Encourage that sensation of release. And again, working into the core, see if you can come up into that tabletop. Pull back through the sit bones, draw up through the pelvic floor. Come all the way up to standing. Let's step the feet together and just give yourself a little jiggle. Let that all go. Stepping up to the top of your mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, lift halfway up. And exhale, step back into plank. Chaturanga down. Upward dog or cobra. And coming back into downward dog. Reaching the right leg to the sky. A little bit more core, we're going to exhale right knee to chest, push forwards. And inhale back. This time exhale right knee to right elbow and drawing back. This time right knee to left elbow, working a little bit more into the obliques, coming back. Great, and then sweeping the right leg forwards to the outside edge of your right hand. So you can stay here, you can lower the left knee down. If it's available, you can come down to your forearms for a lizard pose. And then another variation, you can take your right hand to the sky. And deeper still, you can bend the back leg and reach for that back foot. Great for opening up the quadriceps, the psoas, the hip flexors. And let that release. Coming onto the hands and knees, and we'll take a few cat cows just to limber that through the body. So exhale, spine up. Inhale, navel towards the earth, open the chest. Two more. Awesome. 
awesome. And back into downward dog. Left leg up to the sky. Second side, so exhale, left knee to chest, push forwards. Inhale, reach back. Left knee to left elbow. Inhale, reach back. Twisting, left knee to right elbow. Coming back. And now bring your left leg to the outside edge of the left hand. Maybe just stay here. Maybe lower the knee. And to go deeper, you can begin to relax forwards. Taking the left hand to the sky for a variation. And if you can go deeper, bending the back leg and reaching for that foot. Keep the gaze lifted, open the chest. And let that go. Coming back onto the hands and knees. This time we're gonna do a few navel circles. So the navel's gonna come up towards the ceiling. You're gonna reach over towards the right side, down to the mat, up to the left side, and up to the ceiling. So do three more of these big circles. Really good for loosening the hips. Taking tension out of the lower back. And once you've done that, we'll do the second side. So navel up to the ceiling, now reaching the navel to the left, down to the mat, up to the right, back up to the ceiling. Three more big circles. Great, and then we're gonna come all the way up onto the knees, bring the knees hip distance apart, Bring the hands to the hips for a moment and just press the thumbs down, lift the fingertips up and take a moment to feel the tailbone rooting into the earth. Mula Bandha, Uddiyanda Bandha getting activated and giving you that core support. Keep that arms to the sky. And then from here we're coming into Ustrasana. So bringing the hands to the lower back, fingertips pointing down, squeeze the elbows towards each other, lifting open through the chest. And if it's comfortable, you can go deeper by bringing the hands towards the heels. Keep reaching the hips forwards and lifting the heart up, relaxing the head back. Trying to keep the breath fluid. And using your core to come back up. Moving into child's pose. So let's bring the knees wide, big toes together, and then just fold forwards. Taking a few Brahmari breaths here, so on the exhale we're going to hum and use the vibration to help clear the mind. So you want to focus the vibration from humming through the mind. Noticing any shifts in your mental stability and gently come up, rolling the shoulders back and sitting to one side, bringing the legs out in front, coming to the center of your mat. Inhale, arms up to the sky, exhale, falling forwards. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, rolling halfway back. Doing a few little pulses here. Pulsing to the left, pulsing center, pulsing right, pulsing center. A couple more sets, just at your own pace. And once you've done that, we're just going to rest all the way down, 
coming into Matsyasana fish pose. So palms facing down by the hips, press the forearms into the earth, float the heart up, and then the crown of the head gently touches the floor. See how deeply you can cleanse the respiratory system here. Deep, soothing breaths. And once you've done that, coming down, we're gonna do a, a final relaxation gesture. So press the heels into the floor and then flex and release the feet. Let everything else be limp. So you get this nice rocking up and down the body. Even the head should be nodding. This is really good for the lymphatic system, which doesn't have its own circulatory pump like the heart. So these sort of movements really good to keep that clear, remove stagnation. And when you feel ready, we're going to move into Shavasana. Final relaxation, bringing the legs a little bit wider, arms wider, back of the neck long, grounding through the shoulder blades. And taking this time to really allow the feeling of receiving whatever it is that would allow you to feel deeply nourished for the next few minutes. Allow your focus to draw that in through your breath. Staying here as long as you like. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. Namaste.